I just can't believe it's Christmas already. I know. I literally like mailed out Christmas cards to my family today. <laughs> and I'm and I just want to remind all y'all, half my family is in Ireland. What, what? So they're not getting there in time. What's mail? What is that? I know. But what my is... family still does old school Christmas cards. I, I just like all, my whole family, they're all like all their Christmas log cards are like pictures of their kids. I legit send out cards with pictures of my cats. Vintage. And no picture of Eh. Well, you have cute cats, so. Yeah. All right. Let's get the intro going so we can get into this. <laughs> I'll talk about this week in a second. All right. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible shit, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck's Wrong? And uh, we've got the stories coming up, as we always do. But first, it is still that magical time of year. Yes, folks. The goat is still with us. Terrifying. Why did you do that? The goat is still among us. Because it's a goat. <laughs> and we are still. Did... The goat watches here. Um, this is an interesting year for the goat for, for weird reasons. And that's that's just strange. Um, we Odin talked... has cursed slash blessed the goat. We talked about this a little last week. The fire is not the biggest concern for the goat. No. As we, as we go live now to the goat. The fire is apparently not the biggest concern. The biggest concern is jackdaws, which are a type of bird. Now, if you look here at the, uh, at the goat, look down around the face, down around the neck. If you look up in the horns, it looks patchy. And... Burbs. Birds, because of the, the wet growing season, I think that's what they explained, because the growing season was different this year. There were more seeds in the goat. And the birds have been eating and nesting in the, bir in the, in the goat. I mean, the birds are having a great Christmas. They're having a great Christmas. This is like the birds are like, for me, really? You shouldn't have. <laughs> this is amazing. Best Christmas so, ever. It's gonna be weird. Also, given the, the growing conditions, we're not sure if the goat can burn. Well, no, I say that wrong. Anything can burn if you try hard enough. Anything. Anything. Oh, might it be like more moist? Moist, yeah. That's a wonderful word, moist. Yeah, it, it might be it might be a little more uh uh damp. Dank if you So will. where do we feel where do we feel superstitiously? And I know people don't like when we talk about this, so mm -hmm. earmuffs if if you're gonna get upset. But superstitiously, where do we feel if the goat doesn't burn but is completely picked apart by birds? That'll be that would be weird, to the point right? Where it, so it looks like it burned. Like, imagine if the goat just falls the fuck apart because a bunch of uh, birds came over it. How do we rate that? How does that go on the... It's like, well, this has never fucking happened before. Yeah. You know, I, I always have this weird... <laughs> I, I, I guess you'd call it a fantasy. I always have this weird idea that someday we're going to be doing this live with the live webcam, and as we're sitting here talking, it'll start burning. Right here, live on the internet. Just like a, a fire, a fiery arrow, right? Will enter, and I'll just be talking and not notice, and I'll just be blathering on, and the goat will just start exploding into flame behind me, and I'll be like, "Dude, dude, dude!" <laughs> All right, well, or we'll both miss it, and the chat will be yelling at us. So, hey. just to 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 recap this week. Goat, still there. Still a goat. Still appears to be a goat. So. All right, let's move along He's to the slowly actual... picked apart by birds, just like Prometheus. Right? 
who got that punishment for giving humans fire, weirdly enough. This is getting strange. Hi, Greedy. What are we doing? It all, it all comes around. Hey, bro. What you doing? Greedy. Bro? Hey, bro. Big tail. Fluffy boy. Okay, so this week, I feel a bit responsible for this week. Uh-oh. On this show, we have one of our many sayings, the rules are, that the old drugs still work. You don't need that crazy meth shit. You don't need that synthetic uh, gas station marijuana. Why would you? They're all still there. All the old drugs. You don't need the crap that'll turn you into, you know, zombie flesh-eating cannibal people. Because that happened. Or that'll you turn your skin years. into scales. Remember that yeah. stuff? Yeah, the, the crocodile fucking drugs. No, no, the old drugs still work, right? And I, I've, 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 I've maintained this. However, I, it's, it, it, I feel, I, I feel like I've flown a bit too close to the sun. My hubris has, has caught up with me. Let's begin. Like this is going. Let's begin with the, the first one. Um, I wish I could use uh, because I got high because it's, it's so perfect here, but I can't because it would cost more money than I have. Um, <laughs> Ledged Ohio bank robber forgot to write money on demand note because he was high. Oh, honey. A man who reportedly confessed to robbing a bank in Canton, Ohio miswrote his demand note to the tellers because he was too high. <laughs> Richard Hampton was arrested by police following an April 20th, 2023 bank robbery at a key bank location, Cleveland Avenue. Um, charging documents filed Monday by an FBI agent accused him of giving the bank teller a note with the words, quote, give me the, with the word gun written below it. Hampton then pointed to his waistband several times while telling the employee to hurry up. The bank teller handed over $723 in cash plus a tracking device. Police used the tracker to arrest Hampton and recover the cash. Hampton, the agent Roke, confessed on a video recorded interview to robbing the bank after smoking crack. And very poorly said he forgot to write the word money after writing, give me the, because. He was high. The getaway driver was someone he met at the grocery store and promised to pay $50 to drive him just before he robbed the bank. According to the court documents. I'm sorry, you're going to rob a bank and pay them $50? Well, he only got 700 bucks. That's still a shit percentage. Of of seven hundred bucks, it's ten percent. Well, yeah, you know what? The twenty it should have been twenty, twenty percent, bare minimum. Um, I do want to make note of the date. What? December thirteenth. Well, what month? No, April twentieth. That's yes, April twentieth. Yes, uh, he, who robs a bank on four twenty? Honestly, someone who's someone who's really high. According to court documents, police said. <laughs> The vehicle was casually driving away without rush, including stopping at traffic lights. Hampton. I mean, did the getaway driver know that they were a getaway driver or was it just, hey, can I have a ride to the bank? FBI agent noted Hampton did not wear a mask or try to conceal his identity. I, honey, oh, sweetie. What? Yeah. What, what if you, what if you, <laughs> maybe you plan your bank heist when you're sober. I have never heard of this before. This is, I just, I never, someone just decide. I mean, this is the most motivated I've seen someone be when they're that high. Well, he's on crack, by the way. It was so, you know. 
It wasn't oh. it wasn't the marriage well, juana. It was crack. It was cocaine. Gotcha. But cocaine okay. does count as one that's... of the old drugs. But that's not the 420 drug, you fucking amateur. <laughs> There's it nothing... probably has its own day. I don't know what day it is, but crack probably has its own holiday. Now they say he didn't mix it. You match. can't just take. You can't just fucking culturally appropriate like that. Also, cocaine is one of those drugs where you think you are amazing, and you were like fucking Quentin Tarantino. You're fucking Quentin Tarantino. You're talking very, very fast. And very, very loud. And you yeah. think you're the smartest person in the room and everybody else is looking at you like. I mean, it's no shock that it's the official drug of like Wall Street douchebags. Yeah. Yeah. That's not a coincidence. <laughs> Look at that cat. I know. Are you comfy, buddy? He's purring his head off. He's perfect. He's perfect. He just crammed his head into my arm. Are you happy? Are you happy? Well, I you? was. <sighs> yeah, you're not spoiled at all. But wait! I just want to mush it. <laughs> well, you should visit sometime. We have cats everywhere. You can come by say hi. We've got cats all over the fucking place. So, um... This isn't... Okay. Moving on to the old drugs still work. The Vengeance. Um, I am never going to escape that fucking family guy gag. Come down. No, you're just going to yell at me. Is that where that's from? Yeah. I've been literally wondering for years. Like, I get it because you say it. Yeah. But I never knew where it was from. It's family guy, sadly enough. But so... Every so often that we get we get the live action version. <sighs> Drug men cause eight hour police standoff after allegedly refusing to come down from Perth roof. <sighs> Perth, Australia. Two seemingly drunk men have been challenged, charged with trespass following an eight-hour standoff with police after allegedly climbing on a Perth construction site roof. The pair in their 20s allegedly climbed the scaffolding onto the roof about 1.15 a.m., refused to come down, and eventually fell asleep. And look at this picture, everybody. That, that, oh, my God. That, that, that is a thousand words right there. Look at him. Oh, honey. That's also, that's a bad sunburn waiting to happen. They're like a couple of toddlers. Look at them. Yeah. This fall is asleep on his fucking, this toddler sleep like this. Video appeared to show one of the men's throwing bags of concrete onto the road and swigging from a bottle of vodka. They were seen clambering over and even shaking the scaffolding. Police negotiator was called in. And at one point, the men seen, had a seemingly lighthearted go at engaging with them. Quote, we're ready to make a deal. We want a four pack of cruisers, one man said. Quote, and a vape, the other added. Demands were also made of the media. Quote, I want a helicopter here now, one man said, while perched on the edge of the roof. And we have a picture of that moment immortalized with subtitles right there. There he is. Uh... Meanwhile, tradespeople waited around below, unable to start work. Uh, Police Minister Paula, uh, Paul Apalia, uh, what a waste of time and actually potentially putting people in at harm or in, in an effort to elect, effectively rescue them. Just complete stupidity. Uh, police say they found a woman on the third floor and escorted her from the site, but allegedly her men refused to come down. About 10 a.m., the men eventually clambered down briefly sprinted down the street before surrendering. Asked on the way to the police van whether they had a big night. One replied, fuck it oath. So, yeah. So, yeah. Here's, here's my question. Yeah, many of them. So sure, they, shoot. So they were not armed in any way. Not armed. Just really drunk. They didn't have, they didn't have like a hostage or anything. This is this is a bit like, you know, when like an orangutan gets loose and something 
and they have to go catch him, but they're all very careful and they give him his, they, they give him a wide berth because, you know, it's an aggressive primate. This feels like the same thing, right? Like the, you couldn't just go up there and grab him? <laughs> well, that would turn into a Betty Hill routine. Eight hours. <laughs> they wasted eight hours trying to reason with these chuckle fucks. Just go up and grab them. <laughs> Get a big They're net. They're not armed. Get a big fucking net. Just like carry them down. Like tie them up like Han Solo in the fucking Ewok village. Just bring them the fuck down. I mean, for a good portion of time, they were literally asleep. <laughs> You could have just cuffed them and gotten them in the car before they even realized it. <sighs> I want a helicopter. What happened here? I have never like, so I know, drunk. like American <laughs> cops go very quickly to violence, and I understand mm -hmm. that that's we do we we do too much. I feel like this is the other end of the spectrum, <laughs> though, because these were two people that did not seem to be a threat. And we've spent eight hours negotiating with them for no fucking reason at all. Like, did one of them have a spider? <laughs> I... <laughs> I mean, it's just like, what? They won't. We asked them to come down, and they said no. Well, we don't know. We're out of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Just hollering on a rooftop. Just two drug dudes. The, the cops are like, we're powerless. Go down to Mc, go down to <laughs> McDonald's, get a large fry, and throw them at them one by one. No, 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 no. After a long, no, no. will fall off on their own. After a long night of drinking, what you do is you go to Denny's, and you get them a grand slam in one of those styrofoam containers. Because I know after I'm drunk yeah, as you, shit, what I need is carbs. Yeah, but you can only throw that one time. The fries, well, you, you got like a hundred. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's yeah. Cool. And I think they call it Macaws in Australia, not McDonald's, but you know. Whatever. <sighs> but that's not all. Hell, if it's morning, get like 30 hash browns and just throw a hash brown up every few minutes until they fall off the roof. This week feels like we're being, I, I'm being made to pay for that old drug still work comment. I'm being made to pay for it so hard. Because now we're Is going. Is this the whole week? Some of it. We go back to Is Alabama. Is this just your Dante's symbolic retribution this week? Go back to Florida. We got an Alabama man. Alabama man high on mushrooms. Arrested with parrot on shoulder after fighting with Florida deputies. That's a lot. Margaritaville, you're doing it wrong. Um, That's a lot. That is a lot. An Alabama man has more why of does his Why does his mugshot look like he's dead? It kind of does. He kind of is like, damn, son. Why does he look like fucking Laura Palmer? <laughs> Wrapped in plastic and shit. What happened here? Alabama has more of a Florida man story to tell after explaining to deputies what he was high on mushrooms when they found him in a truck on a panhandle road with a parrot on his shoulder. According to the Washington County Sheriff's Thanks. Office. Uh, on Friday, deputies received a call about a man pounding on the front door of a home and a vehicle sitting stationary nearby. Deputies say the homeowners asked the man to leave. He's not walk on the keyboard. As, as you would, but he would not comply. WSCO deputies were headed to the scene. Car matching the description of the one reported was found in the area. Deputies say the driver, later identified as Timothy Brandon Bowers, 38, was sitting inside the vehicle with a blank look on his face and a parrot on his shoulder. The deputy began to speak to Bowers. He saw several weapons near Bowers and asked him to exit the vehicle. Deputies say Bowers was non-compliant, combative, they deployed a department-issued taser while he was detained for a short time afterward. Um, let's see. Uh, the parrot, who did not appear to be injured, was secured in a pet carrier and taken to Washington County Animal Control. I was taken to area hospital for evaluation, then jail. What the fuck? 
I was really waiting for that sentence for that to say the parrot who did not appear intoxicated. <laughs> I was waiting for that. This fucked up. Uh, how did what the hell? What confluence of events brought you a pickup truck, the shrooms and a parrot to the Florida panhandle? He just really wanted to win that three items at Walmart game. <laughs> it doesn't say Simba, how he got on. to Florida, by the way. He's, Alabama, he's from Alabama. Did he just get high and start driving and shit developed? This is like um, the Zack Snyder reboot of The Crow. <laughs> The bird led him there. <laughs> he died, actually. Look. And then he encountered a parrot. Just because. The parrot said, you drugs and go to Florida. Just because mushrooms are technically free. Someone will sell them to you if you want. But technically, they're about the easiest fucking drug. They're, they just grow. If you know which one you're looking for, ta-da. That doesn't mean carte blanche, okay? Simba. Sorry, Simba's systematically headbutting everything on the desk as hard as he can because he's not getting attention. It's mine. This is mine. Right? That's mine. This is mine. That's mine. It's all mine. Yeah, they, they can't see you, by the way. Headbutting okay. everything on the it's desk. It's okay. You can see it. That's the important part. Yeah, but I'm not petting him, so he has to wreck all my stuff. <laughs> Right? That's you got a crusty butt, and you're just making trouble. Go sit on your computer. You have your own laptop. <sighs> Go talk well, to your imaginary Zoom friends. All right, we're, we're done with all the intoxication now. Now this is just <laughs> plain fucking audacity and entitlement. I love this next story. It makes me happy. It's from your neck of the woods. Oh, God. Um, this one gets the the Alanis Morissette Award for the week. Um, isn't it ironic? Don't you think? Armed robbers, car stolen during Colorado heist. Easy. <laughs> car theft is a problem around here. Three gun-wielding thieves in Colorado allegedly robbed a check-cashing business, but before they could escape, a fourth person stole their getaway car. <laughs> Calvary City Police arrested two of the three suspects on Saturday, describing this series of events as an unexpected and ironic twist. Also saying it was like rain on your wedding day. No, but I said that. <laughs> um, adding to the irony, their car may have already been stolen we don't know. Saturday morning, three armed and masked people attempted to rob Hilo check cashing. They are believed to be under 18. As the trio was robbing the business, a fourth criminal stole the getaway vehicle. Before the alleged thieves could flee on foot, officers infiltrated the area, quickly chased. We were relieved no one was injured. Because um, I promise you, the check cashing place had a silent alarm. Yeah. This, what? It's, I just, can you imagine walking out there after you robbed it? It's like, you can't trust anybody these days. <laughs> the state of the world, this I swear. My, it, this is my favorite line from the article. One woman asked if this was from Grand Theft Auto with a laughing emoji. <laughs> we finally got our Grand Theft Auto is a LARP. It really, and here's the best part. If they stole the car, that means they had to leave it running. Because if you hotwire the car, I mean, I guess you could re-hotwire it, but, you know, you have no keys. And if you're trying to run away, you can't just stop and go, hold on, let me spark the ignition again. So they probably left it outside and running. And they couldn't lock it because they didn't have the keys. So someone else probably yeah. walked by and went, free car. Yeah. See, you stole the car to rob a place. They stole the car to take it apart. 
Imagine being the person to whom this car belonged in the first place. Jesus Christ. The the story for your insurance agent. Like your car is Odysseus and it has been on a fucking journey. Hello, State Farm. You're never going to believe this shit. Yeah. I wouldn't, but I've got the fucking police report. No, I mean, here's right. a... I wonder if the people who stole the car actually ended up making more money than the ones who stole the money. Probably. If you take that to a chop shop, there, if, there's parts for days. Yeah, if it's a half decent car, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Work yeah. smarter, not harder. <laughs> you should have kept someone in. The getaway driver needs to stay in the car, kids. That's rule yeah. one. Yeah. That's because you want to get away quickly. Right. So you need the driver like ready to go room. You never saw a baby driver? Baby driver. I didn't, but I did see drive. Oh, there goes the mic. There goes the mic. I mean, let's ignore the Kevin Spacey because, uh, but baby driver. Edgar Wright. You'll learn some stuff. Probably crime, which you shouldn't be learning, but. Okay, so last week we had that that uh, couple on the plane who decided to fuck with one another by, by saying bomb on the airplane. Yeah. <sighs> which, not great. No, don't do that. This guy, I, I have no fucking idea what the plan was. I don't know how this this is like we have so many of these where A leads to B leads to you know fucking carnage and explosions. C is nowhere neat nowhere in the involved in the equation. This fucking guy, what the entire fuck? Florida airport evacuated after man frustrated by check-in kiosk said he had a bomb in his bag. Culprit is identified as 27-year-old Tyler Bader of Rhode Island. Holiday Traveler was arrested Sunday for initiating a false bomb threat at the Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport, causing part of the airport to be evacuated. Culprit is identified as 27-year-old Tyler Bader. Uh, after, uh, Sheriff's Office uh, said after they responded to the alleged bomb threat in the upper terminal, according to the Sheriff's Office, uh, an airport employee called authorities after Bader reportedly said, Call the cops. I have a bomb in my bag. After becoming disgruntled with the kiosk machine while checking in for his flight. Phone call to authorities. Those are not complicated. Everyone's evacuated from the terminal and the airport's departure entrance for vehicles was closed, causing major travel delays. Bader was charged with making a false report of a bomb and resisting an officer without violence. He's held on $50,000 bond. How? It, look, look, I, I have had technical difficulties with shit before. I've even had technical difficulties with those uh, kiosks because it, th those are not really... Uh, international travel kind of confuses them, or at least it did way back. Like, they were like, huh? Show me your passport. Okay, show me your ticket. Now show me your passport. Now show me your ticket. Okay, hold on. Now show me your passport. It was it was really annoying. That was annoying, right? I didn't go. Hmm. The fastest way to get me through this experience is to commit a felony. Like, what was your goal? Right. Did you now you're not. Now you're not going anywhere. Ever. You're not getting on a plane again. Yeah. No. You'll be lucky if they let your ass on Amtrak. Like, in what way was this going to solve your problem? <laughs> even if you're not, even if you've just kicked into caveman brain, angry, want to smash. Right. In what way does this even accomplish that? You've accomplished nothing. Right. It's just not like that. It's not like suddenly people are going to go, you know what? You're right. Your bomb threat has made us realize we are too reliant on technology. We need a more personal touch. 
Thank you for teaching us by way of terroristic threats. Truly, this is the Christmas spirit. I really don't understand how in the year, to, year of our Lord Taylor Swift 2023, people still don't understand that you do not fuck with the airport. They, they have no concept of the shit that will rain down on you. And how is that possible? How is it possible, even if you don't fly? How is it possible not to know how fucking paranoid we all are about airplanes at this point? He was, Tara, he was five years old when 9-11 happened. I mean, look, most of my nieces and nephews weren't born when 9-11 happened. Uh -huh. I have one nephew who was alive when 9-11 happened. All the rest of them have never lived in a pre-9-11 world. And I feel like they still know well enough that you don't fuck with the TSA. And you know when the cops showed up, part of the resisting was, you can't arrest me for that. Yes. For saying I have a bomb? Yes. Is, that's not a crime. Yes, it is. But this is America. Free speech. Mm -mm. Um, tell me, sir, just out of no, curiosity. This is the airport. Fuck you. Just out of curiosity, <laughs> do you pay for Twitter Blue? I just wanted to check. I just, I just wanted to. <laughs> I just, I just. Oh, X. Excuse me, X. So, just, just checking. Just wanted to check there. Oh, uh, we got another one, and this is from Texas, and this, the the levels of entitlement involved here. Up to and including the mugshot. I just. The, the, the waves just come. I, this, let me speak to your manager energy. Fast yeah. and furious. Woman steals Uber driver's car before flight in Texas for being, quote, too slow. Woman accused of stealing Uber driver's vehicle and credit card before flight out of Austin, Texas. A woman is accused of stealing an Uber driver's vehicle because they were, quote, driving too slow. According to arrest affidavit, Noisha Alexandra Afkami, 27, was allegedly arrested for stealing the, well, she was arrested for allegedly stealing the Uber driver's vehicle and using the driver's credit card without consent. Just before 12.30 a.m., uh, Noisha Afkami, 27, picked up from a hotel, take her to Austin Bergstrom International Airport. While driving to the airport, the report states that Uber driver said Afkami appeared to be upset with how long it was taking to get to the airport. Afkami proceeded to grab the driver's phone and throw it out the window, prompting the driver to stop and get out of the car to retrieve the phone. While outside the car, the report stated that Afkami took control of the car and drove away in the Uber driver's 2016 Chevrolet Cruze, leaving the driver stranded along the road. Officers were notified, able to locate the Uber driver's car abandoned in front of a terminal before Afkami could board the plane. She was apprehended by police. According to the arrest report, while being questioned, Afkami claimed she and the Uber driver were arguing about how long the drive was going to take. She told the Uber driver, quote, I need to get to the airport, so I'm going to take your car and drop it off at Southwest Airlines. Okay. Well, that's all right, then. Afkami also stole the Uber driver's wallet and used a credit card several times, totaling almost $130, at a store inside the airport. All the items purchased with the driver's card were found in Afkami's possession. Been charged with unauthorized use of motor, motor vehicle and booked into Travis County Jail on a $16,000 bond. Yeah, they can track credit cards, you know? And yeah, an Uber is not a rental car. Like, that's not how that works. It's not like, thanks for letting me borrow your car. No. 
You're doing it wrong. Let me do it. No. No. What in the what in the entire fuck? No. What the And also Oh, and here's by the mug the shot. Way, here's the mug shot. Look look at that fucking I did nothing wrong. The that, smug shot? That is the I did a smug shot. That's terrible. I love it. That is the I did nothing wrong. Jesus knows I did yeah. nothing wrong. That's that look. That's that look on her face. But the thing about the an Uber, because I take Ubers to the airport all the time, is you put in where they're picking you up and also where they're dropping you off in the little phone appy thingy. So Assuming that guy got his phone back. Yeah. He Probably could show smashed, them but. Exactly where she was going. Yeah. Even if they didn't believe him when she said, I'm going to the Southwest Terminal. Like, no, look, this is where I was taking her. The, the, how, what's, what's just baffling me? is how this woman has gotten through life to now. You know? Because this doesn't seem like a first offense. No, but... Like, how have you gotten I mean, along with this... With the brain that does this thing? How have you managed? She's not an attractive woman. That's okay. probably how. But... but but still, you would think that you would run into a situation that didn't have a penis. Right? An inanimate object. Yeah, but, but you'd be surprised how yes. often, yeah. how many situations, like, I'm not proud of it, but there have been a couple of times where being a not unattractive white girl, yeah, like, cops are just nicer to me. And I notice that, and I'm like, what the fuck? And I shouldn't say just a penis. I know, I you know, I have actually known uh, women and people who do not have penises who have been very stupid over attractive people, they, the people they are attracted to. So, yeah. No, no. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not just... Hort make dumb. Like, Hort make I, dumb. I, I, I promise. I promise you she has gotten away with tons of shit just because she's pretty. And that's not right. I would never say it is. That's it's not. That that but. is that mugshot rap just like good God almighty. Fucking what the, the the fuck I just don't understand how she thought this was going to work out. Now you're not on the plane. I, I I'm gonna assume she thought she'd be on the plane before she got caught. Well maybe she would have been if she hadn't stopped and committed credit card fraud. If she just yes. made a beeline for her flight and just boarded the motherfucker and kept her head down, they probably but, wouldn't have been able to find her ass. Even if that was the plan, th th they know where your plane's going to. Like, one way or another, they're going to find your ass. No, no, I guess you need... And if I'm, if I'm, and if I'm correct, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure... All airports are like federal law. Mm -hmm. Like any crime you commit on airport is federal. So you could maybe get out of town and get off the Grand Theft Auto. But as soon as you use the stolen credit card in the airport, that shit doesn't matter. Wherever you land, but, someone's going to be waiting. But Tara, she really needed that caramel macchiato and a pair of noise canceling headphones. Really needed those. Yeah. Couldn't fly without. And look, I get it. I always, I buy dumb shit at the airport all the time. <laughs> I own six neck pillows because I always forget <laughs> to bring one, and then I buy one in the airport. I'm, I have neck pillows coming out my fucking ears because I'm a moron. I get it. I always remember my fuck. I always forget my fucking earbuds. I always forget my fucking earbuds. Always. Yeah. So I get it. But use your own fucking money. Right. Just. Motherfucker. Uh, what, what did the fuck we learn this week? We've learned. 
you, it's not, you know, just because you think you could drive better does not mean you'll get to take someone else's car and do it. No. I say this weirdly in all earnestness, earnestness. This is not a communist society. It doesn't work like that. Now you can debate the, you know, the merits of communism versus capitalism. That's fine. But we are in fact a capitalist society and we have ownership. Uh, there's no it, it, fucking car. We have learned also that the fastest way to get on the plane and get customer assistance is not a felony. I don't know never, why you thought ever, it. The fastest, the fastest way to get on the plane never, ever, ever involves the word bomb. Never. I don't know. Just fucking Randy Marsh. I thought this was America. We've learned there really is no honor among thieves because... Stay with the stay with the getaway car. Someone will steal that shit. Can't fucking trust anybody. What anymore. are you gonna do? Call the Someone cops? Going to hell. <laughs> gonna report you it. You know we have had that happen. Yeah, we have. We have had people call the cops over stolen meth. For God's sake. We've learned just because the mushrooms were free does not mean the bail will be. Mm -mm. <laughs> and no matter how many mushrooms you're on, don't do what the bird tells you. We've learned that apparently in Australia, they'll be real patient with your ass if you're drunk on a roof. <laughs> you just have I'm to. I'm baffled by that. You, well, you just have to think the cops are going. Oh no, I've been there. I fucking I I no, I've been there, man. I've been there. <laughs> and finally, we've learned that if you get so high that you forget the crucial aspects of the crime you're about to commit. Maybe you need a 12 step program. Maybe. Maybe just crime another day. Just, yeah, just get, get, you know, get it out of your system. Drugs today, crime tomorrow. Get some black coffee the next day. Some starch, maybe some eggs. Yeah. You'll feel yeah. better. Gatorade, you know. Fucking hell. What was this week? What was this even? I mean, less traumatic than a lot of weeks, I will say. But more infuriating when is the somehow. Last time, more infuriating when is the last somehow. time we went? When is the last time we went a week without some bullshit happening at a plane or an airport? Because I honestly don't remember the last time we didn't have somebody just showing their ass at the airport. 1997. 